Welcome back students. Myself Janish Shah, Assistant Professor at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. In our previous lecture, we studied about that how can we insert node at the end of the linked list. So now, today, we will see that how can we insert node in ordered linked list. Ordered linked list that means if we need to insert something in ascending order or descending order linked list, that thing is known as order linked list. Okay, so let's begin. Insertion at order linked list. So the function a i n s o r d x comma first. Why its function? I have already told you that in any type of insertion in linked list, what we need to do is just to return the address of the first node of the list. Okay, so that's why here in algorithm the return type is function not procedure okay so the thing is ins ord ins ord represents insertion in ordered linked list okay x represents the value and first is nothing but it's a first pointer which point to the first node of the list okay so what can be the first condition for the insertion can anyone tell me or just just remember the conditions okay for any type of insertion, what we need to do? First, we need to check the space in availability stack. So here, if my avail pointer pointed to null, if my avail pointer pointed to null, then then the availability stack is underflow. So the first step is to check the underflow condition, and it is if avail is equal to null, then write our underflow. Okay. If my availability stack is empty, then what I need to return? I just return first. Okay, because first is a pointer which point is the first node of the list. And as in any type of insertion in linked list, we just return a pointer of the first element. Next. What is the next step? The next step is to assign the new pointer to avail. So that becomes if E a points to B, then we should write A arrow B. If P points to Q, then we should write P arrow Q. Here new points to avail. New points to avail, so we should write new arrow avail. Okay, so the statement is obtain address of the next pre node. How can we obtain address? Like new arrow avail. Here new is a pointer, avail is also a pointer. Next, what we need to do? If this is avail, students, wait for a minute. If this is avail, then this is link of avail. Okay, no, name of this node is avail. So now, name of this node is link of avail. Fine. So, what we need to do? We just move avail to link of avail. We just need to move avail to link of avail. So, the next step number three becomes C. We move free node from our stack. That is avail arrow link of avail. Okay, so so three three steps are common in insertion of singly linked list. First, we need to check underflow condition. Second one is get the new pointer, and third one is remove node from the availability stack. Fine, and that step is known as avail arrow link of avail. So, what will be the next? So, next students, now we have our new node, and to first for that we just need to initialize fields of new node. Okay. So here, this is new node, initialize the info field of new node. See, the difference between the previous algorithm and this algorithm is that in previous algorithm, we know where we need to insert. Where we need to insert? In previous algorithm, we need to insert at end of the linked list. At end of the linked list, that's why we know that link of new pointer must be null because, because it is at end of the linked list. Fine. But here, here, we don't know about the link of the new node because this is an ordered linked list. In order linked list, what happens? If my order linked list contains like 5, 10, 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay. Now, if I want to insert 2, then it should be at the first position before 5. If I want to insert 30, it should be the last position. If I want to insert 7, it should be between 5 and 10. 5, 10, and 7. It goes like this. 5, 7, 10. Okay. So, insertion of the new node 
depends on its value depends on its value okay so right now it is not decided that where link of my last new node should point so i am not going to gonna initialize it i am just want to initialize my info field of new node info field of new node is equal to x so i hope till this all steps are clear okay so let's move forward so what is the link of new node do we know it no so depends on the value of x depends on the value of x okay so here we have three different conditions okay the first is see this is the last step copy information contained in the new node that is info of new arrow x okay and then we need to check whether the list is empty or not see if you want to enter something in the linked list in order linked list but if your linked list is empty then your new node becomes first your new node becomes first node so see here is the scenario how can we say that linked list is empty if my first pointer pointing to null if my first pointer pointing to null okay if a first is equal to null students must be remember that here in algorithm we are not using to is equal to operator or is equal to is equal to operator for the comparison okay we are just using single is equal to operator okay but if we need to do this operation in program then we have to write first is equal to is equal to null so make it clear so next is for if first is equal to null then our linked list is empty our linked list is empty fine so the new node becomes the first node very first node Okay, so the info is new node is x. We already have, and the link of new node should point to none, right? Because see, there is no node in the linked list. Okay, new node is the very first node, so the link of that new node should point to none. Link of that new node should point to none. Okay, fine, because that is the first and that is the last. Whatever the new node you fetch out from the already stack in empty linked list. Okay, then that node becomes your first node. That node becomes your last node, and last node is a single linked list pointing to none. Got it? Yeah. So if first is equal to null, then initialize the link of new arrow null. See, link of new arrow null. I return new. Sir, why are we returning new, not first? Just because here returning new that means returning the address of the first node. Okay. See. First, first, which is the first node after insertion? Okay, this new node. That's why I'm returning new. Okay. So second case is, does the node precede all others in the list? Okay. Does the node precede all other in the list? It means, it means the value of x is less than of from each and every other nodes. Okay. See, I'm just taking x is equal to five. See, x is equal to five, and this is my linked list. This is my linked list. See the example. If x is equal to five and this is my singly linked list, see the values are ten and forty in ordered linked list. Fine. So if I want to insert x is equal to five in ordered linked list, then my node should be inserted over here before ten. Node should be inserted over here before ten. That means at which position? First or end? At first position of the list. At first position of the list. Okay, so we already know that how can we insert node at first position? Okay, if I want to insert node over here, then see this becomes my new node. A link of new should point to first. Link of new should new should point to first. See, so this is five. X is equal to five. So the condition should be info of new is less than or equal to info of first. See, info of new. Info of new is five. Info of first. Info of first is Then, so if info of new is less than or equal to info of first, then what we need to do? We just need to insert new node at the first position of the list, and the link of new should point it to first. Okay, so here link of new is equal to first, and again returning new because new is my first node after insertion. Okay, what is my first node? New. So I should return. Got it? So. This is the second case, and now move forward to the third case. If I want to insert in between something, see, 
I'm just taking my third case and imagine if this is my linked list, first pointer pointing over 10 and 80 is my last node because last node pointer pointing to the null. Okay, fine. And if I want to insert something, if I want to insert something, then I should traverse. I should do traversing. Traversing means to move forward from the one node to another node. No, it's not traversing. But to access each and every node of the linked list, to access each and every node of the stack, to access each and every node of this queue. So, to access each and every node element of any data structure at least, at least once, that operation is known as traversing. Fine. So, here I again want to do traversing until and unless I get my perfect position to insert the node. So, I am just taking the save pointer, same as my, our last algorithm, insertion at end. Okay. So, see, I am just assigning save to the first. Because save is very much useful for the traversing purpose. The next is that if suppose x is equal to 60. Suppose x is equal to 60. Just imagine and focus on the animation of this slide. Okay, because it is very much important to understand that how can we insert a node. Okay, it is easy, but if you can imagine like that. Okay, so here x is equal to 20. That means I need to insert element between 65 and 80. No, between 50 and 65. Between 50 and 65. Okay, so see, my new pointer should pointing over here. You stand over here between 50 and 60. So what is the condition I need on linked list if you want to perform any operation on node, you must have name of that name of that node. This is my goes. I am just using name of the node. Okay, because I usually say that if you assign any pointer to that node, that pointer name should become name of that. Okay, fine. So see what I want. I just want name of 50 and name of 65. Okay, see I have name of first. 10. Name of 10 is first or save. Name of 10 is first or save. Okay, but but do we have name of 40? Yes, we have. Again, we have name of uh, name of 40. Name of 40 is link of first. Link of first, or you can say link of save. Fine. So here we have two different names: link of save and link of first. Okay, but do we have name of 50? No. Name of 65? No. So what we need to do, we are just moving save pointer or to 50 or 65. That depends on us. Okay, that depends on you. And until and unless you get 50 or 65. Okay. So okay. Now first tell me, if I move save pointer to 65. Now the, now the name of save 65 is save. Name of 80 becomes link of save. But what is the name of 50? Do we have? No, don't. So what I need to do, I just need to stop traversing of save pointer at 50. See, I want to insert node at 50 and 65, between 50 and 65. Okay, fine. So I just need to stop my save pointer at 50. Okay, not at 65. Again, I want to insert node between 50 and 65, but I need to stop my save pointer at 50 only. Right here. Okay, fine. So that I can get the name of 50 is save and name of 65 is link of save. Okay, so search for the predecessor node of new node. Okay, predecessor means before of the new. So the element value is 60. So we always need to stop at 50. One step previous of 60 that is 50 okay so repeat while link of save should not equal to none okay make sure link of save should not equal to none if link of save is null then it is the end of the link list fine so you should we take care of that link of save should not equal to null and second condition is info of link of save see see this is save this is save okay so this becomes link of save Again telling you, 50 is save, the 65 becomes link of save. Fine. Now, if I want to get the info of 65, then what I should write? Sorry, if I want to get info of 50, then what I should write? 
info of save info of save got it fine but if i want to get the value of 65 then what should i write info of link of save info of link of save so the condition is info of link of save is less than or equal to info of new okay until and unless this data element is less than or equal to info of new you should do traversing traversing step is save arrow link of save save point to link of save now see the how the traversing will work see the first step is link of save is not equal to null first condition is link of save is not equal to null check link of save is null don't okay second condition info of link of save okay students what is the info of link of save see this is save the link of save is 40 this is save the link of save is 40 so what is the info of link of save 40 now apply the condition 40 is less than or equal to info of new info of new is 60 okay so 40 is less than or equal to 60 condition is satisfied true so we need to move save pointer to the path next now save becomes right here again check link of save is not equal to null condition true then check if this is save then this becomes in link of save this is save then this becomes link of save so info of link of save is 50 info of link of save is 50 so what is the condition 50 is less than or equal to 60 50 is less than or equal to 60 condition is true again move forward save pointer now save pointing over here now check see link of save is not equal to null condition is true okay now the next is info of link of save is less than or equal to info of new so here see the 50 no link of save is 65 link of save is 65 that means 65 is less than or equal to 60 55 is less than or equal to 60 condition is false so here your traversal will stop now so what is the step is see you need to insert new node over here 60 okay so just connect the line connect the lines of the new node see before inserting any node you just make sure you have just inserting link of new node okay so in insertion during insertion you should make sure that before removing such lines such pointers from the figures you first need to assign the link of new node to the its next node fine it is very much important okay see link of new error link of save okay what we need to do what we need to do assign the link of new to this node name of this node is save name of this node is link of save name of this node is save the name of the, this node is link of save so the link of new should point to over here link of new should point to link of save fine okay so next node next thing is link of save error new see Link of save arrow new. The first step link of new arrow link of save. It should goes like this link of new arrow link of save. And second step is link of save arrow new. So link of save is this. Okay, link of save is here. Link of save arrow new. Fine. So such like this, my node is inserted in between the ordered link list. And last step is to return the first pointer. So as we all know that here in this case we are just inserting node between of two nodes so the first pointer is as it is i'm just returning first make sure you should write or down or draw the figures of the link list and after that just thinking about the where pointer pointing to the which node which pointer pointing to the which node okay after that just uh, thinking on that okay so this is the final insertion algorithm of Singly linked list. We have seen three insertion algorithms insert at first, insert at end, insert at order link list. Fine. In our next lecture, we'll talk about deletion in singly linked list and then go forward for the doubly linked list insertion and deletion. So, till my next lecture, if you have any query, then please feel free to ask me. Thank you so much.